Hi, welcome back to Safety and Civil Engineers Inside. Today, I'll put you through how to design GRT. We will be looking at GRT Design Part 1. We will be talking on GRT and the necessary design parameters necessary for your design of GRT. So, let's get started. Definition of a jetty. A jetty in general refers to a structure that extends from the land into a body of water, such as river, lake, or ocean. It is typically built to influence the current or tide, protect a harbor, or provide a platform for loading and offloading of goods and services by ships or boats. Jetties can be made of various materials including reinforced concrete, steel or wood. Design parameters for jetty. It is essential for you to know the design parameters before going into your designing of jetties. So we we'll look at the standard and references. It's important for you to know the, know your standard and references of your design parameters. So we'll be looking at the design BS8110 for reinforced concrete design and BS54002 for steel design, etc. The design construction and testing shall be by the following standards. So you must have to visit the federal or state environmental protection for their standard in line with jetty construction and also you must have to visit the national inland waterways authority for their guideline guidelines it's important it's imperative that you must have to visit the national inland waterways authority for the necessary guidelines in designing and construction of jetties so you have to visit them to get all the all their necessary guidelines. But if you don't have it, you can send me a message on the uh, message comments so that I can forward you all the necessary guidelines of National Inland Waterways Authority that has to do with jetty design and jetty construction. Occupational health and safety. It's important that you take safety as your number one priority. Safety is a key. Safety is key and is essential in all your design and construction works in lines with jetties. Like your handrails is important. You include handrails in your design and construction of jetties and ensure all safety measures and procedures are taken seriously in line with the design and construction. Design versus data. When designing your jetty, you take cognizance of the kind of watercraft that will apply the waterways and also make use of this your facility, the jetty, for betting, for loading and offloading of people, goods, and services. So you must have to take cognizance of the size, the weight, the draft which is important in your design. Design life. A design life of 50 years is specified by BS6341. Sorry, a design life of 50 years is specified by BS63641 2000 section 16 maritime structure code of practice or general criteria and this shall be adopted for jetty design life so in general a life the lifespan of a jetty is 50 years so you have to take note of this in your design and and ensure all necessary parameters comes into play structural load we have the life load which is important in your design so the life load should be five 0.0 kilonewton per meter squared 
in your design purpose. Then your current and seismic load. The current load due to the tidal movement will be considered as non-critical. This also applies to seismic, to seismic load, which are not common in this part of the country or the world. So it's left for you to apply your seismic load. It's important, it's imperative, your design, you had it. But to me, it's not necessary here in Nigeria. Jetty structure. Jetty structure can be divided into parts, namely the deck and substructure. The deck is the it is the platform known as the jetty head and the walkway, while the substructure is your pile foundation. Reinforced concrete shall be specified and adopted for the jetty construction. This has been chosen because of the availability of local materials, durability, safety, and ease of maintenance. So for your jetty design or construction, try as much as possible to adopt reinforced concrete, not steel or wood, because of the safety in it and also the ease of maintenance. Also, you, you, you put cognizance of the local materials if they are available on site. So that will also depend on your choice of, of, of constructing a jetty, if it's going to be reinforced, if it's going to be steel or wood jetty. Now, when carrying out your construction on site, it's important to use grade 30 for your concrete. So endeavor to use grade 30 is important. Your minimum cement content should be three to five kilogram per meter cube. Your, your cube compressive strength should be 30, the tensile strength and all of that. Your concrete cover ensure you adopt 40 mm, 50 mm, as the case may be. So it's important you put all these things into cognizance when designing your jetty. They are called design parameters for jetty. If you need this, kindly send me a message on the comment section so that I can forward this to you. It's important you have all this before you start um, designing your jetty. So we'll be looking at pictorial view of a jetty construction, how a jetty looks like. So this is a pictorial view of a jetty construction. This is me on site about to embark for the construction of a jetty in Nigeria. So this is a reinforced concrete jetty. Like I said earlier, that it's based on the availability of materials on site, the safety and ease of maintenance. Reinforced concrete jetty has a higher advantage of ease of maintenance and it do have a lifespan of 50 years. So here is our reinforcement. Reinforcement, it could be Y16, it could be Y20, it could be Y25. Depends on the outcome of your design. So this is the pile casing for our pile foundation. And this is the reinforcements. It has been made on site, ready to install, be driven in and to be casted. So here is the jetty. Over here, this is the jetty head. Here, this is the bullard. It's used for anchoring. When ships or your boat or your barge comes, they tie their rope here to anchor for his of loading and offloading of people goods and services so this is the jetty head so over here we want to construct 
the walkway. This is the pile casing. This is the reinforcements, as you can see. Then men on site trying to mount the scaffold. So that's what you are trying to figure out on site. So this is the walkway. As you can see, the form work has been made. Reinforcement has been installed on site, has been laid. Top and bottom, you can see. Then this is the casted walkway. So it has been done. This is the walkway. And also, as you can see, there is handrails for safety purpose so that you don't fall into the river. Safety is important and is key. So this is the extension of the walkway. So we are trying to um, create it and also cast it. So this is, this is the extension. Then here is the jetty head. Here is the staircase down to the water. Perfect. So this is the staircase. So when a um, boat comes, passengers, you know, offload their goods, you know, either they offload or they load their goods down there, then travel by water. So as you can see, it was a lovely job done by Ross. So these are the construction team. You can see me, the engineer, uh, my colleague. Yuda Mohammed, the very nice man. And these are the co-workers, younger staffs. So it was a successful construction and the job well done by us. Thank you. And I want to wish you a happy new year, 2024. I wish you all the best. And therefore, in this new year, 2024, take safety as your number one priority. And God bless you. Take note, in our next video, which will be Jetty Design Part 2, I will teach you step-by-step -step approach on how to calculate for your jetty design and the necessary requirements needed for your jetty design and your output and how to select the size of your pile cases is important. The size also is important. So you, you have the cognizance of that. So thank you. If you love my video, kindly subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. This is how you do You click the subscribe button. Then you also click this bell. This bell is the notification bell that will prompt you for more videos of mine. You give me like by clicking this thumbs up and also you share my video. Thank you and God bless.